Hey guys, uh, just doing this quick video of this 1968 F250 that I just picked up. It came actually up from Montana to Michigan. It has 118,000 actual miles on it. Uh, 360 VA automatic and it's got the heavy-duty suspension just to do a quick walk around of this and uh, we're gonna end up painting this a turquoise with a white top and it's gonna go back to its original tires and stuff so just doing a quick rundown as you can see the glass is in really good shape the bed I was really surprised in it looks really good for a 1968. I see some holes in there where uh, a fifth wheel might have been mounted. But look at the fender wells on this. Such nice condition on these. And the tailgate, fantastic. It opens and closes just as it should. And it's kind of cool having this type of a gate. But it swings and opens right up. If you look at the bottom of it, how clean that is. Wow. Nice. So all in all, it's a nice clean truck so far. I do have all the trim pieces that go right here. And uh, they're in really good shape. But as far as the body goes, it is hard and steel. There's hardly any Bondo or anything on this. The inside of all... The wheel wells is still metal. Metal down here comes up. And here's something you don't see very often on a truck, even a newer truck, it seems, is that how nice these doors close. Doesn't even close that nice on my other truck. The windows are nice on it. It's got the eight bolt front end tires on it, of course. And missing the antenna right here, but we'll take care of that. Uh, the front glass, really nice shape. If you look up on top here, hardly any rust at all. It's in great shape. And come back around. It does have a newer dual exhaust on it. Like I said, they drove it up from Montana. And it is clean. And all metal. And here's the inside. This door here, same thing. Just closes as it should be. The interior, of course the dash is crashed. It's probably been sitting out there in the sun for many, many years. But if you look at the rocker panels, how nice these are. Going up and the door itself Ooh, look how nice that is. Hardly any rust at all on this truck. And there's a picture of the dash. It does not have the original steering wheel. I'll have to find that. The interior, the door panels are in good shape. It's not the original radio, of course. But heat control works. Your choke, all that seemed to work when I was using it. Glove box is in nice shape. There's the roof panel. Needs a good cleaning, but it's there. Both the visors are still here. Windows roll up and down just as they should. Nice and smooth. All in all, this truck is in great shape. It does have the molding right here on it. but And it has some issues, of course, being an older truck. The front end, I do have the headlight bezels and the missing parts for the front end in the back. And it's got the 360 in it. And it's a nice motor. It starts right up and runs nice. I'm not going to start it right now. Uh, I've been doing some homework on these motors and the carburetors seem to leak gas right out of the front accelerator pump and this one does the same i got on ebay and looked up some more trucks and in some of the descriptions it said the same thing so it seems to be a common problem so that needs to be rebuilt the inside nice metal 
nice and clean. It does have a brand new radiator in it, so that's nice. But it's clean. Uh, I did find some issues over here. They do make a replacement part for this. This part right here is rusted. But I did find a replacement for it. But even the hood, hood is in great shape. So just wanted to touch base. We will be uh, restoring this truck. And uh, going to bring it back to close to as original as I can other than the color because I just like that color. But all in all, uh, I'll keep posting when we work on something else. Have a good day.